Hey, what's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. This is a new showcase video of uh, basically a dwarf army from The Hobbit. So, just recently, I've been absolutely obsessed with the strategy battle game, uh, the Middle Earth strategy battle game. So, I'm trying to think, they call it obviously MESBG or Lord of the Rings battle game or whatever. But um, recently, the, the Hobbit films, or I suppose in the last couple of years, the Hobbit films came out. Um, and, I, well, I suppose it's not really all that relevant, but I wasn't such a big fan of the films, basically. Um, I think they eked it out into three films, when they, not when they shouldn't have done, but, you know, they can do whatever they want. But I just think, like, after the success of The Lord of the Rings and all that sort of stuff, they seem to really, like, jump jump on the, the Hobbit films. Um, and they were really good. Uh, but I suppose in The Lord of the Rings and, and The Hobbit, like, in both the films, like, stuff happens that didn't really happen in the books. Um, and in the Lord of the Rings, it was like much, much truer to the actual books, like the actual um, J.R. Tolkien's work. And um, I think the Hobbit films were more like a film that they made that was just based on The Hobbit. It wasn't necessarily like, it wasn't really The Hobbit. It was just stuff and characters and things that were like, I mean, it was, I think some of the, most of the characters, say, were similar. Um, but they'd taken some huge liberties and gone. Anyway, it doesn't. I'm rambling again. So, this is Thraw and Thrain um, of Erebor, and then 20 Grim. Oh, well, 24 Grim Hammers. So there's a unit of 12 just there, three ranks of four, and then the same on the other side. So 24 guys, Thraw and Thrain. So this makes a 500 point army, which is pretty cool. Um, and again, like relatively low model count with the with the dwarves it's, it's pretty standard stuff to be honest like really low um move uh like they move five inches like that's going to be a big problem there's very little fast moving anything in um in the dwarf forces from lord of the rings or the hobbit obviously no real cavalry um the iron hills dwarves obviously have the the goat riders and chariots and stuff but they cost so much money from forge world that like hardly anybody plays them um yes like very little magic and things like that but then insanely high defense so um thraw for example has like defense nine and all the grim hammers for like 11 points have got defense seven i think so like crazy high crazy crazy good defense um for relatively low models so again it's, it's the same as always it's not a criticism that they have low um move value you know of like a five inch move because it's not it's only an inch less um, but of course, it's the rest of the army as well that has like a lack of access to to cavalry or really anything fast. I'm, I'm sure there will be some stuff for dwarves. Like I said, the, the Iron Hills do have a few things, but these ones not so much. So I'm going to show you uh, Thraw. Excuse my fingers here, but I've been painting, so it's not like nail varnish. Um, so really cool miniature. Uh, in fine cast, I can't stand fine cast. I don't want to be critical. I hate being critical. The fine cast is not very good, and so some of these things uh, it was a real struggle to fit together. There's a lot of modelling work required. The sword was a mess, um, and it just took a lot of work to get it to a point where it was actually like I was actually relatively happy with the miniature and um, with the metal and with some some forge wall stuff like that. But you don't need to do that. And so fine cast was an absolute failure, and I think that's one of the reasons why, basically. So really nice model. Um, he's really big. So even though he's like he is a dwarf, um, and the rest obviously these are. Uh, is you know bigger than a normal dwarf uh, in height, but also um, much much broader. So like on the base, he's huge. He's got this huge cloak. Oops, excuse me. So you can see like the the profile on the base of the regular dwarf is actually quite quite small, or he's you know taking up say half the half the base there. And then this guy, huge, just like very imposing, very large, classic sword and board sort of uh, a pose. Very cool miniature, and um, yeah, he's wearing heavy dwarf armor, so it's like gold. Some nice like blue blending um, and that sort of stuff. So very nice model, and uh, really fun to paint. And then the rain. So um, I spent quite a lot of time blending like the skin tones and the face, um, and a lot on the red. So I've been really really liking the uh, contrast paints from Games Workshop recently. So this was um, corn red, and then. I think it's Volpus Pink or something. Uh, this one. Volopus. I, I never know how to pronounce things. There's so many armies and so many things and so many different paints and stuff like that. I have no idea how to pronounce them. <laughs> so that is Volopus. Volupus. Volupus. I, I, I ain't got a clue. 
Volopus Pink, we'll say, um, over Corn Red. Uh, I think to an extent people pronounce things however they want anyway. Like, I've heard people called the Custodes, Custodes, and that one annoys me so much. Like, there's about 15 books about the Custodes where they pronounce the name. <laughs> like, you can't just call them whatever you want. Right, uh, my camera just moved there. Right. There you go. Oh, it's uh, the tripod that's the problem. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Um, Thraw and Drain, so like an Erebor army. Um, each one of the, the dwarf characters, like I said, insanely high defense, relatively low move value. The Grimhammers are very, very elite troops. Um, you've got a 26 model count, only about 6 might, I think, but uh, super cool. Insanely high defense, going to be really difficult to, uh, to take down. So th these are for sale at the minute, and I'll put a link in the description if they're still for sale by the time I upload the video at some point in the future. Uh, stay safe with the coronavirus, by the way, because uh, that's really taken off as of now. So, uh, yeah, wash your hands. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Cheers for watching. And you can find uh, pictures of this on Instagram and Facebook. Um, Powerhouse Miniatures on Instagram, like at Powerhouse Miniatures, and then Facebook.com forward slash Powerhouse Miniatures. Alright, cheers for watching.